Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Why is a Muslim man allowed to marry non-Muslim women, as in uh, women from the uh, people of the book, Christian Jews, etc.? This just pose a question that why are Muslim men allowed to marry non-Muslims, including people of the book? What she is referring to the verse of the Quran from Surah Maida, chapter number 5. Verse number 5, it says that lawful for you from this day is the woman of the Ahle Kitab, those who are modest. So Islam gives permission to marry the woman of the Ahle Kitab, a Jewish and a Christian, as long as she is modest, which the vice versa is not true. A Muslim, a Muslim woman is not allowed to marry a man from the Ahle Kitab, who is a Christian or a Jew. The reason is that when a man marries a woman, if you analyze that the woman comes to the family of the husband, so a woman is coming from old atmosphere to a new atmosphere. So in this case, if a man marries a Hale Kitab woman, in this case, when she comes to a family, she is a Christian or a Jew, whatever prophet she believes in. The prophets of the Jews and the Christians and the Islamic prophets are the same, with the exception of Muhammad The only thing the lady has to do, she has to believe in another prophet of Muhammad All the other prophets which the Jews and the Christians believe, we believe in the same. The only thing she has to do is believe in one more additional prophet. If a man who is a Christian marries a Muslim, the Muslim who comes to a Christian family, the family people of the Christian, they don't believe in Muhammad as a prophet. And they may sell the Prophet. So it's difficult for a woman to marry a man from the Hale Kitab and the Prophet who she believes in, Muhammad they don't believe. Whereas the Christian lady, when she comes to a Muslim family, we don't abuse any of her Prophets. Only thing she has to do, she has to believe in additional Prophet Muhammad But if you note that Quran gives permission that you can marry women from the Hale Kitab, who are modest, that doesn't mean you can marry any Hale Kitab. Because the Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, Verse number 221, where Allah says in the Quran that you cannot marry a mushrika unless she believes a mushrik woman, an idolatress. You cannot marry her unless she believes a Muslima, a Mormon woman, a Muslim woman is far more better than an idolatress, even if she allows you. She may be the beauty queen, she may be the richest woman in the world, but if she is an idolatress as compared to a Mormona, a Muslima, a believing woman, a Muslim woman, she is far superior even if she is a jharuvari, even if she is a helper, even if she is a bond woman, she is much better than a non-Muslim who is a mushrik, who does shirk, even if she allows you. So the Quran prohibits a person from marrying any non-Muslim who does shirk. If you analyze that certain non-Muslim Allah has given permission, the Ahle Kitab, but Allah also says in the Quran, in Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 72, Allah says, لَقَدْ كَفْرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ that they are doing kufr, they are blaspheming those who say that Jesus is Almighty God, Jesus son of man is Almighty God. So the Quran says that the Ahle Kitab do shirk, Christian do shirk, they even do kufr. So in one place the Quran says you cannot marry a mushrik, one place it says you can marry a Ahle Kitab or modest, one place it says Ahle Kitab do shirk. So who can you marry? You cannot marry a Ahle Kitab woman who does shirk, but marrying a mushrika is prohibited. So you can only marry certain types of Ahle Kitab women as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 110, Allah says, Kuntum khaira ummatin khijat lil nas, ta'miruna bil ma'aruf fatan hawna ayni munkar, wa ta'minuna billah. We say that Allah has made you the Muslims a khaira ummah, because you enjoy what is good and forbid what is wrong, and believe in Allah, and the verse continues, وَمَنْ أَحَسُنَا أَهَلُ الْكِتَابِ لَقَانَا خَيْرَ اللَّهُمْ مِنْ هُمُّ الْمُؤْمِنُ وَأَصْمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ It would have been better for the Ahle Kitab, for the Jews and Christians, if they would have believed. Because amongst them, there are some who are Mormon, but the majority are poverty transgressors. So amongst the Ahle Kitab, the Quran says, some who are believers, who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the majority are poverty transgressors. So that does not mean you can marry any Ahle Kitab, Jewish or a Christian woman. She should be that, who does not do shirk, who is a Mormon who believes in Allah, believes in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So this type of woman you can marry, but not any girl by the name of Sheila or any Christian girl who believes in Jesus, God who believes in Trinity. So according to me, it is those Christian women who don't do shirk and believe in Tawheed, believe in one God, only these Christian women. Hope that answers the question, sister. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.